Agani. We're in Mapua right now. I'm just heading out to my launch. Do a bit of work. I'll uh, show you where we are, guys. We'll pan around. It's a beautiful morning. Look at that. There's a lady swimming over here. She just spotted a stingray over on the shore there. Yeah, the man's on the beach and she's swimming out there. There's a stingray in the water. I've stood on two out here so far and been really lucky. <laughs> she's pretty keen. She's probably in her 70s and she's out swimming, which is bloody good to see. Anyway, we're out here in the, the very, very special place, Grossy Point, which is back there. And there's the launch. I've got to put a new starter motor on it. So Robbie, the uh, goose rooter from Geraldine, and Mad Kiwi have got together and they've sourced me a, a starter motor for it because the one I've got on there is a Ford and it's not ideal, it's not meshing properly. The, it's working but not that good. So that's today's mission is actually just to make sure that all the bilge pumps are working, go out there and, and I'm not going to turn her over right now until I get another starter motor. I'm a little bit sore today because I went to the dentist yesterday and they couldn't knock out the, uh, the tooth to do the work on. And I don't know if you can see, I've got down the back here. Probably not, but it's all got blood and inflamed at the back where they kept on putting needles and trying to knock it out. Uh, but the good news is I've got now the four root canals are filled and I've got a cap on it. Well, not a cap, it's like a filling. In a year, they'll put a cap on it. And that's, that's a problem out of the way for me. Rotten teeth, and I talked about yesterday in my video about dealing with stuff and today the the theme is sort of a little bit the same it's a similar topic but what it is, is is making it easy for yourself to deal with stuff because it's actually bloody difficult to deal with a lot of things I am a messy person I'm not tidy I never have been and consequently it's made my life difficult I lose things a lot I lose my keys I lose my wallet I'd lose my balls if they weren't in a bag I'm just talking in a quiet voice because there's people on the beach here. I don't want to interrupt their space. So the way I have got over this, the way I have fixed this problem, and it's classic of a lot of people that are good at being creative because your creative mind's working all the time and your practical mind is not thinking clearly and you, you forget about the fact that you do have to wash your dishes, that you do actually have to tidy up the bench after you've, you've filleted your fish. You do have to wash everything down and... Your mind is going ahead to how am I going to create this next thing? How am I going to build that? How am I going to shape this? What music would sound good with that? And it's going on all the time in your mind like a, a little chattering monkey you can't turn off. And it overrides the important things of just day to day living. Pay your bills, do your dishes, make your bed, tidy your workshop up, sharpen your saws, do all those, those maintenance jobs on your engines and that. And so what I have found that really has worked for me, now this is really the crux of the video, I probably could have gone straight to this, but is to create habits. And you've probably heard it before. So when I get up in the morning now, the first thing I do after I've checked the weather on my phone, that's the first thing I do, uh, is that I make my bed. I lie in bed, I look at my phone, just like you do. You get up and look at your phone. We're all pretty much the same. And if you don't do that, then you're rare. But look at the phone and I check the weather so I can plan the day, and today I knew that the tide was going to be ebb tide now, so I could come out my boat and chill without having to get swept up and down with the tide, and I knew the weather would be excellent to come out and look at the boat, so I was able to plan this mission just to check the bilge pumps. Uh, this has become, excuse me a minute, little new pace, little new big Z, no barking, no barking pace, no barking. Dogs are in the truck. I can't leave them at home because they bark and there's a lady that keeps complaining about it, which is fair enough. So it's a habit that I've got into. I don't even remember making the bed this morning. Actually, I think back, I actually can, but it's something I do now on automatic pilot. I never leave it unmade ever. And it's just a habit. So once you discipline yourself, and there's the key, you've got to really discipline yourself to do these things, to do that job, to always do the dishes after your meal, to make sure you're just using one cup to drink out of all day and you wash it after you've used it, then use it again and again, just rinse it out so you don't build up with 20 cups around your bench and that. It's a simple little thing, but if you apply it to everything in your life, 
your life becomes a lot easier. So to make your existence here a whole lot better and a whole lot more enjoyable, the best thing you can do is cultivate self-discipline and then create those habits. Like some people it might be exercise, they might not be good at exercise. So just allow yourself a 20 minute brisk walk every morning. Put it into your regime for your day. I don't do that because I walk the dogs three times a day and I get exercise, but you might not have dogs to walk. So maybe you say, okay, I've got an office job or I sit at a computer. I'm going to do a 20 minute walk every morning. I'm going to discipline myself to get up 20 minutes earlier. I'm going to put my shoes on, I'm going to have a glass of water, I'm going to go for a brisk 20 minute walk, get my heart rate up, and then I'm going to come home and start from where I normally start with that 20 minutes behind me. And your whole day will feel so much better once you know you've done that exercise, you'll feel better. You might want to finish off with a cold shower and take it a step further, train your body to become uh, cold tolerance build up those brown fat cells that actually can handle cold that's a, probably a video for another day cold showers there's a lot of those too but really the, the main guts is create habits out of the things that you struggle with so if you're like me and you a person that's not particularly tidy create some tidy habits that become things that you do all the time without thinking about and that way you'll be doing them on autopilot and you'll also be doing the other jobs in your mind while you're doing them at the same time. Yesterday I cleaned my whole kitchen. I make a point of that when it gets a bit, bit sort of messy. And while I was cleaning it, I was actually thinking about my next video. Look at this out here. These people. Actually, I'll pan around the other way and finish this video up. Just Doesn't that look wonderful? There's a couple in a... Uh, there's one there. That's a great thing to do. And there's another one over here, which is like an old Canadian... Canadian type, uh, that's awesome. Anyway, I love you, leave you. Have a great day, guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. And check on yourself. Check on your habits. Check on your self-discipline. And remember, if you can cultivate self-discipline, your existence will be a lot better. Have a fantastic day. See ya.